In cosmology, our universe is considered to be homogeneous and isotropic at the large scale. But have you ever thought, how does one make such a conclusion? Especially if you look around us, nothing seems to be homogeneous and isotropic at all. So, let's discuss. Welcome to another session of our discussion in physics. This video is a part of a series on the introduction to general theory of relativity, but you can view this video independently as well. Cosmology is the study of the cosmos, the whole universe as a single system. So as you can guess, cosmology is a prehistoric subject. Almost every civilization in the history has studied cosmology in some form or other. Indian concept of Brahman goes back to Rig Veda which is dated around 1700 BC, almost 4000 years ago. Clearly, there are varied questions that one may ask here. Some of these questions are scientific and some of these questions are not scientific. So, we need to draw a fine line between these questions by defining the so-called physical cosmology. Now, we may ask, what is physical cosmology? It is the study of the cosmos using the quantities which are physically measurable either directly or indirectly. In physics, in order to study a system, we must consider the associated scale of the problem. Here too we have mentioned about the large scale universe. So in order to appreciate the scale of cosmology, let us consider a glass of water as you see here. In the scale of say 1 centimeter, the water can be considered as a homogeneous fluid. On the other hand, if one takes a small amount of water and zoom it by sufficient factor, then what you can see is the water molecule. So, if you look at the water at the scale of angstrom, that is 10 to the power minus 10 meter, then water does not look like homogeneous at all. In other words, one can apply different principles to study the same given system at different scales. For this example of water, these two scales differ by a factor of 10 to the power 8. Now if you compare the size of the solar system and the observed universe, then you can see that their scales differ by a factor of 10 to the power 13, which is much higher than the factor between the water molecule and the water as a fluid. Therefore, at the large scale, the matter content of the universe can be treated as a fluid. In the case of the water glass, we can measure the density of water at two different locations to confirm that water is indeed homogeneous. Unfortunately, all our experimental observations of the universe are carried out from the earth or in the solar system. At the cosmological scale, the whole solar system would just be a single point. Nevertheless, these observations suggest that our universe, when viewed from earth, appears to be isotropic. That is, it does not depend on the direction of your observation. In other words, if you measure the matter density at a given distance, then it does not seem to depend on the direction of measurement, whether you do it this direction or in this that direction, as long as distance is fixed, this seems to give you the same matter density. One can then ask the question whether we human are the privileged observer. Is the universe isotropic only if you view it from the earth? We cannot settle this question using observation from the earth alone. We need to use some principle or axioms. In other words, we have to make some assumptions. In this context, the Copernican principle says that earth is not a privileged point. The universe would appear to be isotropic at large scale if viewed from any other point in the space. So, at one hand, the observation from the R suggests that universe is isotropic. On the other hand, the Copernican principle says that R is not a privileged point. 
These two inferences together imply that universe is both isotropic and homogeneous. In order to see this, let us consider two observers and say both these observers find the universe to be isotropic. With respect to the first observer, the density would be same at the point A, B, C and D. Whereas with respect to the second observer, density at the point E also be same. This way one can show that density is same at all points in the space. If you have any comment or question, please write them below in the comment section. And if you like to follow the discussion, then please subscribe to this channel.